Hey, what's up, Lucky Tackle Boxers? Nick here, host of the Informative Fisherman Show, and now host in the Panfish series for Lucky Tackle Box. I want to go over what you should be receiving this month in your box here, so let's get cracking. One of the first things I grabbed is a Northland Fishing Tackle Tadpole. It's a one inch, it's in brown. Uh, these are absolutely fantastic for rigging up on little tiny jig heads. Um, you can slow jig them off the bottom. I like to fish them anywhere from two to six pound line, as low as one sixty-four ounce jig head and I'll go up from there. You have a couple different rigging options and I'll show you these right here. You'll have the upright tail, and you'll have the down tail. Depending on how you rig that, you're gonna receive a different action each time. You could cast it out there, let it fall to the bottom, reel up, let it fall to the bottom again. A very good retrieval method for these. These, these particular lures here are very awesome at vertical jigging slowly during those ice fishing times too if you live in that part of the country and you wanna do that. From there we have the Lucky Strike Twin Tailed Grub right here. This is about a two inch grub. These suckers are very, very useful in the crappie world. I'm actually pairing it up with the Poochie eighth ounce jig head. That's these bad boys right here. The eighth ounce is about as heavy as I use and I'll go lighter from there. Um, you can put multiple on, you can double rig them, you can use them for spider rigging. Great assortment of baits. I've caught a lot of crappie on these. Caught a lot of bass on these. Really killer lure. Um, what I like to do with these is cast them out, let them get to the bottom, do a slow retrieve, let it come across that bottom real slow and smooth with those double tails kicking. And I also like to jig it. I like to drop it down there, jig it up real fast and let it fall. Jig it up real fast and let it fall. And a lot of the times that's gonna trigger you extra strikes. Okay, now here we have the Cruncher Baits tubes. This is a one and a half inch tube. Cruncher Baits specializes in the tube industry. I mean, they're extremely soft, durable tube at the same time. I thought they would tear easy being so soft, but they fish substantially well. I'm going down to a 164 ounce jig head, fishing it on anywhere from two to that six pound line once again. This is a natural shad color right here. I've been whacking them on this. Okay, here we have the K&E Stopper Baits rival worm. This thing has two worm, I mean two hooks rigged inside it. The line actually runs through the hook to a tiny hook in the back. That's a size 10 and just up from there it has a size 8. Cool worm. It's almost buoyancy neutral. I fish this thing. It basically will super slowly fall. You could, and it comes with that little leader on there. That's how you have to thread it like that. I mean, you can tie on directly to a swivel. You definitely want to use a little snap swivel right there to keep line twist out, as this little lure is going to naturally roll for you. Put a split shot up the line, fish it on a medium light or a light fast action, six and a half to seven and a half foot spinning rod. Let it get down there. And the nice part is you put a split shot, it'll get down there. That worm's going to hover right over the bottom. It makes some great color choices here. It's gonna hover right over the bottom. That split shot's gonna be down. You can hop that split shot, and that worm's gonna hover once again. This kills the trout, the crappie, um, bass, red ears, bluegills, you name it. This is an absolutely awesome worm that I'm having a blast with. Okay, here's a really cool new product. This is a two inch grub made by Fishing Physics. Hashtag genius baits right there. It looks like your standard run of the mill grub, but actually this thing is not your standard plastic. It's designed to be more like a sponge to where it's dry and hard when they cut it out and they put it in special fish scent formula. It's like bait scents out there, but they soak it. The ones that came in the box here are Nightcrawler, oh, they're Earthworm, excuse me. Still a worm, Nightcrawler Earthworm, but it absorbs that scent. You can see it's soaking in the liquid in there. When you take it out, the liquid is not a floating bait scent either. It actually dissipates properly in the water. You put it in a cup of water, you'll see that scent coming off of there. Pretty darn cool. If you're slow trolling this, or if you're spider rigging it, or just slowly moving it off the bottom and not moving it overly fast, that bait scent is definitely going to help. Oftentimes people go, do you really believe in bait scent? But I will tell you what, it does way more good than it does harm. And if you're, you have a slow moving bait, it's going to do you a heck of a lot of good. A nice big tail on the grub right there. This one comes in chartreuse, uh, depending on what color you got, but the chartreuse is great in that dirty, dingy, or real green 
greenish water. But absolutely loving this. Uh, you're guaranteed. You know they're going to see it. I haven't got any big red ears on it yet, though I'm dying to. I had a couple crappie chase me up on the Delta, but I've been whacking the little bass on this, uh, fishing it on a two-pound line. As you can see right here in the bag, I have it on that poochie jig head, that eighth ounce poochie jig head. It's a great setup. It comes with a size two hook on there. It's perfect for that two inch bait. Uh, absolutely killer technology. You guys got to check these out. Now, last but definitely not least, poochie. You know the beeline guys, right? Well, poochie's actually got a pre rig crappie rig in here. Now, instead of just leaving it all tangled up in there, let me take it out and show you. Give me a sec. So, as you see here, you have a swivel. It's where you tie on your main line coming down from your rod and you have spreaders these wire extenders coming off of a leader um, they have looks like to be 20 pound test pre-rigged on here they had size 2 hooks i actually dropped the hook size down a little bit because i didn't have the giant crappie in my lake where i was testing it i put a little size 6 hook on there but you know you could put any type of line you want on here and run them it's just the spreader this pre-rigged crappie setup which is absolutely fantastic uh, prevent your baits from getting tangled you can see you snap a weight you got two you got two of those going on there so you can put live minnows on the end of there you can put grubs and spider rig troll it you know putting that rod off the front of the boat dropping it down bringing it up a couple feet off the bottom and slow trolling forward uh, the live minnows extremely good on here for crappie uh, but grubs work as well from there on the bottom you have a snap there you can go ahead and put you a swivel top weight on there or any type of weight you're critical to. Put it down, you have a nice tight line, you're moving along, your baits are suspended through the middle of that water column, right in front of those crappie and boom, baby. Okay, here I have one of those little 164 ounce jig heads like I was talking about. I wanna show you something with this tube here. You wanna get it inside the tube. You wanna work it around. You can lubricate the tube if you want with your mouth or the jig head. You wanna work that jig head all the way inside the tube and you'll see that little tip of the head smashed up against that eye. You want to scrape it with your fingernail on the eye of that right there. You want to spread out those, those tentacles on that tube and then tie on to the eye directly like that. Adjust your tentacles accordingly like that. And now you can see that tube is rigged perfectly on that little jig head just like so. Now one critical thing you want to focus on when rigging on that poochie jig head that you received and that twin tail lucky strike grub right there is you want to look closely. If you pay attention, I'm going to hold it like that. You see how it comes down evenly spread to where those are even on each side. If the bait was twisted over, those tails would not kick evenly. You want to make sure it's perfectly straight down the middle, spreading the two of those so you get equal tail kicking like that. On the fall, it's going to sit perfectly upright. Those are going to kick perfectly. Okay, now let's go over rigging the fishing physics grub right here. I'm going to set my little jig head down. Now, the package is full of the scent, so when you tear it open, expect it to leak out because uh, you want it to be sitting in there in that scent. You remember, you're dealing with a sponge, in theory, over a piece of plastic. You can see it's very, very limber, but if you leave it out in the sun, it can get dry. Um, so keep it moist. Now when rigging a grub like this, you want that tail to be upright in the same position of the hook. So I'm going to thread this on here. Now, as I got that grub on there, as it rides, it's in the same position of the hook. This is critical for getting action out of a grub. If you get it sideways, you're not going to receive the same action. Um, at a slower speed, the straighter that tail is in line with that hook, at slower speeds, you're going to get more kicking action out of that tail, therefore more strikes, therefore more fish. So keep that in mind when rigging those bad boys up. Okay, for my cruncher tubes and my impulse tadpole on that 164 ounce jig head and slightly up from there, I like to throw on a moderate slow action spinning rod. Um, it's extremely light. This is an ultra light setup. This is a super small reel. This is two pound test, although I suggest using four. Um, I like to play the little trickery game. Um, the lighter line you go, the more action you're gonna get out of your baits. Therefore, it can, can for two more strikes, the bigger the line, the less safe you have to be with landing the fish. Yeah, in theory, it's easier to land them that way, but the lighter the line gets you more strikes. So on that little lighter jig head, uh, I like fishing the two pound test right here. I can get a little smoother cast 
you know, I allow the rod to load up, nice easy throw out there and let them fall, real sensitive. I like to keep my finger on the line to detect those lighter baits getting struck like that. Now for my K&E stop arrival worm right here and my fishing physics two inch grub on that poochy jig head, I like to fish these on four to six pound line on a medium light fast action rod. Fast bending much more in the tip, having more backbone. That eighth ounce is a little heavier jig head. It's going to allow me to get some distance out there. I want a longer rod for my longer cast to where I can pick up more line on that hook set. That four to six pound, I happen to be fishing six right now allows me to get a little better hook set. I have a little bigger hook. It's a little bit of grub, a little bigger worm. Looking for that little bigger panfish, not such a tiny hook. Allows me to use a little bit more body of a rod there to set that hook and I'm gonna land more fish. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going catching. Thanks for subscribing, guys. We'll see you next time.